So the FAST acronym uh, stands for face, arm, um, uh, and uh, speech and time, right? So face meaning asymmetry in the face, which is probably the most easily recognizable thing if you were just to look at a patient. And weakness is something that the patient uh, would uh, recognize himself or herself. And speech, again, something uh, that can be recognized both uh, by the, uh, the, spect the, the, the bystander and also the patient himself or herself. Um, it has brought a paradigm change in the way a stroke is recognized, not in terms of uh, efficiency, but in terms of time. And that's what the T stands for in that, uh, in that acronym. So um, the symptoms of stroke depends on what part of the brain is involved. So whether it's the left side or the right side, that will tell us you know, where the symptoms are going to be uh, in the body, and also what type of symptoms, whether it's going to be language, or whether it's going to be motor, like the ability to move your arms or legs, or it's just sensory, or it can be very minimal deficit, like you know, a feeling of dizziness, things like that. So the symptoms are all based on where exactly in the brain are, is the blood supply being affected, whether it's a leaky blood vessel or a blocked blood vessel.